Hello, everyone, and welcome to the uh, intermediate scratch challenge number one extension. So in this uh, extension, what we're going to do is we're actually going to take a little twist on the uh, drawing your name. And what I've done is I've made a um, a Cartesian plane here. And the Cartesian, the Cartesian plane I've made, um, what it's going to be able to be used for is it's going to be able to use to sketch out our names. But you're probably looking at this one already is even showing this. And, I'm going to point out a couple things. So first of all, the dimensions of it are 180 by 180 uh, units high and 240 by 240 units uh, wide. So that's, uh, I, I bring that up because if you go into Scratch and you go into the backdrops, you go into Other, and you go to the XY grid in Other, and you click OK, the uh, dimensions of the uh, the stage for Scratch are the identical same. So it's 180 by 180 and 240 by 240. So what this is going to let you do is it's going to let you use this to sketch out your name. So I'll uh, post a link uh, to this as well. Um, and that'll be uh, kind of easy to find. And what you can do is you can take this and then write out your name. So I've gone ahead and done this. So there's my name. Um, I've sketched it out. Um, when you are doing this, um, Try to make sure to do this at the intersection between uh, factor of ten, factors of 10 points. So you can see I've done this at negative uh, 120 and negative uh, 210. So you can see where I'm kind of where the grid intersects. You can see I've done that with all my points as you go. Just makes life a little bit easier for reading your uh, graph because the numbers are quite big. And, you know, picking these points in here might make it a little bit more difficult. Um, but, you know, if your estimation skills are good, you can probably do that quite um, well. So I'm going to start by positioning Scratchy the Cat down here. This is me and my starting point. So I'm going to start Scratchy down here. So I'm going to use this point here. And I've also gone ahead and kind of predetermined some of my points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move uh, Scratchy over. So I'm going to start by using an event and pulling in the when flag clicked. Once you have the when flag clicked, I'm going to do motion and oh, I'm coding the backdrop. You can see my blue square here is selecting the backdrop. So I'm just going to drop that back in. Click on Scratchy the Cat. It explains a lot. And then uh, there's our green flag clicked. Next, I'm going to use a go to. And this is going to send Scratchy the Cat right to the starting point, which is going to be approximately on there. And I know from um, here that my first point is going to be at negative 210, comma, negative 120. So that's the location of that first point. So that's going to be my starting point. So I'm going to send Scratchy there. So that's at negative 210 and uh, negative 120. I'll just go. And so there's Scratchy there. And one thing uh, that I will do from the last uh, challenge I will also do is I'll pull in my show and my hide box just so we can toggle um, between uh, showing and hiding Scratchy. So Scratchy's here now. And what's going to happen next is let's now um, take our pen tool. We're going to put the pen down. So now the pen's touching our stage, and so it's going to be ready to draw. I'm going to actually make my lines a little uh, thicker, too, just for fun. I'm going to make my lines thicker. I'm going to make them uh, three pixels wide instead of one pixel wide. And then we're ready to go. So now we're going to move up. And so what's going to happen is with the pen down, we are going to move up to this point right here at the top, which is negative 210, comma 100. So I'll pull in that real quick. Let's uh, go to. It's negative 210, and that's 100. Always test your code between steps. So I'll just test my code, and there's my first line. I can actually hide Scratchy the Cat so you get the full effect, and Scratchy's there. Um, we can just toggle between showing and hiding your sprite. Um, and sometimes the sprite will cover up your work. So I'm just going to hide Scratchy for now. So next, we're going to go from here to this point there. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is bring in another go to. And we'll go to negative 120 and 100 and that. So just moving across. So this time what we're going to do is we'll do another go to. This go to will be moving to this point right here. And so we'll go to, um, that's negative 120. That's Ten. We'll run our code, and oh my goodness, look what happens here. So what ended up happening was between steps here, and so if I, I'm just going to run backwards, and wow, this is really going well. So what's happening is between each step, my old 
pen drawings are continuing to my pens down even when I press the green flag and we go back to the start. So we need to also initialize by clearing all previous work. So I'm going to start by doing a clear. Now let's see if that clears it up. And it's still not quite right because the clear is happening and then we're going to. So I'm going to actually have to switch up the order of these. We're going to go to the start, then we're going to clear everything away, and then we'll run it. And there we go. So now we go to the starting location, we clear all previous um, pen drawings away, and then we start moving around. We put our pen down, we set our pen size, and we start moving. So let's see here now, and there's my next arm. And even when I write it and click it a hundred times, it gets cleared. It moves to here and gets cleared. So that line never gets drawn um, because of that clear um, function. It kind of clears away the other ink. All right, so now we have to move from here to in there. And I know that's that point right there. And I know that's negative 2, 10, comma, 10. So go to negative 2, 10, comma, Let's just run that. Good, and now we'll do the the last part of that code. And what we'll do is that is going to, and I'm just verifying uh, or looking back at my uh, Cartesian uh, plane each time to kind of make sure that it's uh, good. So that's negative two, the negative one twenty, comma negative one twenty. Run it again. There's my arm. All right. So now let's code the letter Y. So look at my letter Y. And I know that this point right here is at uh, negative 40, 120. So let's pull in A. We'll go to negative 140, or sorry, negative 40, comma, 120, or negative 120. We'll run that. Ugh. We have a line that shows up here. So what we actually have to do before we move to the next letter is we need to pick our pen up, and remember the computer's only do exactly what we say it to, for it to do. So it didn't know to pull up our pen there. It didn't know we were trying to do a space between our letters. We put the pen down. You can see there's a little dot right there, and if you don't believe that it's there, you can also show Scratchy the Cat. And so now we've moved Scratchy the o uh, over. You can also tell by that dot where our pen is, because it just touched down on the, the stage there. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to move up to the this point of the Y right there. So we're going to do a motion, oh, wrong block, go to, and that's negative 40, 10. Run my code to test it. Perfect. And I'll do that arm of the Y. That's a go to. Um, and that would be negative 90, comma. 100. Test that. Beautiful. And then we're going to have to move right back down to here to draw our next Y. So I'm actually going to duplicate that first code. We'll kind of go back to where we were. So that's going to drag us right back down to here. It shouldn't look like anything, but if you're not sure where Scratchy is, just show where he is. And oh, look right where we said he would be. And now we're going to go right back up for my letter Y. So we'll go to, and that's going to be at 10, 100. So we'll just verify that. Perfect. So you got the idea. And as long as you're remembering to put your, uh, pick your pen up and put it back down between letters, like I've done here, um, you'll have a nice space between your letters. You can add some color if you wanted to. So if you went into pen, um, we can also change our pen color. So I'll change my colors here to uh, red. And then I'll change my pen color to here when I put it back down to change it to maybe we'll make it blue. We'll run that. And now you have two different colored letters. Um, so that's a way that you can write your name using uh, a Cartesian plane and uh, be able to kind of use uh, the grid coordinates a little more easy and practice using the X and Y coordinates as well. So please make sure to uh, share your project to the studio that we've uh, included in the link and, uh, you know, make it really fun, you know, add different colors. Uh, try to see if you can um, 
be different colors as you move along. You know, how can you make that happen as uh, you're making the code occur? Can you make this part one color, that part another color? You know, have fun with it. So if you can write multiple words, um, add rounded corners if you want to spend more time making those uh, really, really nice and kind of curved, you can do that as well. I hope you enjoyed the challenge and uh, good luck. I look forward to seeing your work.